Hello, my name is Devika Shake and I will solve a problem related to the goal seek. Goal seek is used to get a particular result when we are not too sure of the starting value. Goal seek is a convenient way which helps us to solve the lengthy and the quadratic equation easily. Here my problem is to find the pH of a 0.3 molarity of ammonium fluoride solution. The Ka of HF is given and the Kb of ammonia is given. To begin the problem, we have to fix the values. To do so, we'll go at the top. I'll fix the value of Kw. I'll type Kw. Hit the enter. I'll fix the value for Ca. Put the Ca. Hit the enter. To fix the value of Ka of HF, I will put Kah. Hit the enter. Here I am given the Kb of ammonia, but we will always deal with the Ka value. So we have to change the Kb of ammonia to the Ka of NH3, which is simply is equals to Kw by our Kb of NS3. Hit the enter. Once we got the value, for Ka of NST, we need to fix it. I'll go at the top. I will type Kan. Hit the enter. Once we fix the values, we have to do our charge balance equation. I'll add the positive ions and subtract the negative ion. When the ammonium fluoride salt is dissolved in water, the ammonium ion and the fluoride ion is formed. So we will get NH4 plus H plus OH minus F minus which is all equals to 0. Once we have done our charge balance equation we need to set some columns. The first column will be for pH. The second column will be for H plus the third column will be for OH minus. The fourth column will be for NH4 plus. And the fifth column will be for F minus. Then we will have a column for our equation. Equation and finally for magnify. We will put any value of the pH at the beginning. I will put the pH 6. Then we need to find our H plus value, which is simply is equals to 10 to the power of minus our pH value. Hit the enter. Then we have to find our OH value, which is, is equals to our Kw value divided by our H plus hit the enter then we have to find the value for NH4 plus we have to figure out whether the NH4 plus is alpha 0 or alpha 1 we know that ammonia is a base and bases always tries to gain the electrons when NH3 gain the electrons it it goes to the left and becomes the NH4 plus so we know that NH4 plus is alpha 0 once we know that NS4 plus is alpha 0, we can calculate its value, which is, is equals to, we have to take the value for our concentration times, and we have our formula for alpha 0, which is H plus divided by, open a parenthesis, H plus plus our Ka of ammonia, close the parenthesis, hit the enter, we got the value for our NS4 plus. Now we have to find the value for our F minus. Uh, we know that HF is an acid and acid always tries to lose the electrons. When HF lose the electrons it goes to the right and become the F minus and we know that HF is alpha zero and so F minus will be alpha 1. 
once we know that f minus is alpha 1 then we can calculate its value which is, is equals to our concentration times our Ka of HF by open a parenthesis our H plus plus Ka of HF close the parenthesis hit the enter we got our HF we got our value for F minus then we need to write the equation which is H plus plus our N plus NH4 plus minus our OH minus our F minus hit the enter we get our equation and we need to magnify our equation to do so I will multiply it with the big number let's say to the 10 to the power of 20 hit the enter our equation is magnified then we will go to the data we will go to the what if analysis we will select the goal set our set cell value is our magnified value to the value of 0 by changing the our initial pH we hit the OK the goal set has found our solution our equation is 0 our magnify is 0 and our required pH is 6.20 I have solved my problem. Thank you for watching my video.